felt like that one could have been four nothing yeah. uh, pretty easily. What do you make of uh, that game? I think we played very well, really well. Very, I would say, not even having like a minute of uh, like not being the best team in the on the field. Like uh, the last two games, we played really well, Austin and Dallas, where we be, probably be the best team on the field for 75 out of 90 minutes. Today was 90 out of 90. We we really we really had a lot of chances, played really well, but uh, we need to close the game earlier and. Uh, because you saw guys like, uh, you know, in a counter-attack from a corner kick, it was offside, but they had the chance to score. And uh, and it would have been like a disaster, to be honest, not winning today because we we showed that we were like uh, the, the clearly the best team. So, uh, you know, uh, we, we need to go back on uh, what we were doing at the beginning of the season where we were outscoring our chances. In the last three, four games, we are not. And, but I'm really happy on the quality and the quality of the, of the team. It's been just the way that we played. It was really good. We literally what we uh, plan it went through for the entire game. So you know, I'm really happy. I believe that's four games across all competitions that you've kept a blank she uh, clean yeah. sheet. Uh, what is it about your defense that's uh, been allowing you to do that? <coughs> it's not just the defense. It's the fact that we play really well. We have the ball a lot. We finish our attack most of the time in in their box, so it's really hard for the other team to 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 attack us. And then when they attack us, in the rare times that they arrive in the final third, uh, we're very solid. We whoever plays, you know, uh, uh, we played uh, all the five centre backs starting in the last four games, and uh, we always with a different combination. If I if I'm thinking now. Uh, every game had a different combination, and um, and we did very well. So you know, and also the midfielders. You know, um, I'm sorry for Ralph that uh, he had to come out because it was a yellow card that I, I didn't want to risk anything. But he was doing really well in protecting the the defense in the first half. Uh, Benny, you mentioned about you know closing out games with last game and this game but you got to give some credit to the keeper as well yeah yeah I did Jimmy well. last one uh, last week with four today Daniel made nine and a few spectacular yeah. saves what does it say about your team that even though a keeper might have one of his best games they're still relentless and they still manage to find the goals even if it comes a little later than what you would have wanted yeah they were really good they were a really good team guys like uh, I can say that it's game 20, I think it's game today, 36 official competition between Champions League, blah, 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 and everything. I probably counted two games out of 36 where the other team was better than us and uh, where we didn't play well. And uh, so it's, it tells us that we do well. We, uh, we, are, uh, we, are, we are having a, a, a really great season. The new addition brings even more quality and choices. So, yeah, you know, again, as I said last week, uh, the time of uh, hiding ourselves, I think it's over. We need to really say that we are here to try to be at the ball till the, till the end and uh, trying to, you know, uh, shoot for the highest position. That doesn't mean that we're going to make it, but we have the quality to do it. And I wanted to talk to you about the, the second goal in particular because beautiful team play yeah. goal between Pedro and Ryan. And yeah. for Stuart to have that as a debut goal as well, that's yeah, definitely one to good. be remembered. So, yeah, so it's a 90s night tonight, no? And it looked like uh, Brazil 1994, Bebeto and Romario, uh, Stu and, uh, and, and Ryan up top. So uh, that, was, that was a great goal. But I want to say... Not only the goal, I think today is Senor Pedro Vite masterclass. 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 Like, you know, like different level today. <clears throat> Coach, that, that goal, the <laughs> second goal with Stuart and Ryan, fans have been hoping we would see the connection between those two, but three minutes after he come on, do you think that's something we can see carrying the team and were you surprised to see it happen so quickly? No, not surprised because good player when they play together they make things happen. Uh, 
I don't think we're going to see playing in that way. We finished playing basically 4-4-2 four, four, with Stu and Ryan up top. That uh, maybe can be an option, but, you know, it's more of something to close the game. But for sure, we'll, uh, again, uh, it's not only them. Everyone today, Alessandro, Pedro, Sam, when he was on the field, after the first 20 minutes that he was probably a little bit too nervous. Uh, Ali, I think he did very well. So when you have quality player, that kind of connection can happen, not only because uh, you work on that, but also because they, be, they come organically. Fafa Pico was buzzing. He could have had maybe a hat trick tonight. Yes. What from his game did you see that allowed him to get in those chances and have those opportunities? Yeah, he did, he's playing very well. He's, he's doing what he's supposed to do. He's always attacking the space. He's uh, always in the right position. Uh, we knew that uh, uh, playing with this two small striker, even Fafa is not that small at the end, to be honest. He can go in the air and win, and win balls. Uh, we it would allow us to probably gel a little bit in possession and attack in the space in behind. Uh, today, he, yeah, he had four great chances, likely scored once. Uh, one, it was a little bit uh, uh, um, unlucky with the bar, and one, uh, two of them actually. One was the deflection, and one, uh, the goalkeeper made a great save. So, you know, if you play like this, if you are in the right spot at the right moment, then sooner or later you score, and today you scored again, so I'm really happy. Can you let us know about your shirt today and why you're representing the Terry Fox Foundation and what it means to you? Well, uh, so I, I know that tomorrow was is a Terry Fox run, and uh, so uh, there was two ways for me to support, either making the run but <laughs> or, <laughs> or showing the, the support. I think that... Uh, so Terry Fox for me is the most iconic character of Canada, not only British Columbia. And I think it's uh, criminal that I didn't know about him before living here. Uh, what he represents, the fact that uh, he put uh, everything when he was, he, he was, you know, he was actually dying. He was actually having a, 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 like a, a really, um, advance sickness in order to promote a message of hope, promote a message of uh, uh, research, promote a message that uh, life is beautiful, this kind of resilience, this kind of love for life, this kind of, uh, I would say, example that we need to set every day. It makes, me, it makes him one of my favorite character ever. And I think that the foundation, since he's doing a, an amazing job for uh, getting funds for cancer research and do a lot of things, promoting the things in a way that he loved because he was a sport, uh, a sport person is something that is amazing. And uh, again, I think that uh, uh, everyone knows Canada in the world because of maple syrup and bears and, uh, and everything. I think the first thing that we should know Canada in the world is because of Terry Fox. Coach, you talked about uh, a lot of the individual performances that you're getting from quality players. You also have a lot of uh, players that are kind of squad players that have really kind of stepped up in the last couple yeah. of months. Why does everyone just kind of seem to be clicking right at the same time right now? Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. Like, everyone is doing well. I think there's two ways. One, this is by far a special group. It's a group where everyone loves each other. I like, you know, no jealousy, people always supporting each other, people really wanting to help the team. And so I'm really proud of them. But also, I, I want to be honest, I'm really proud of my staff too because we really, I think, uh, achieved on creating an enhancing that kind of culture. And when I'm talking about my staff, not only the guy on the bench, but everyone who works in the building, to be honest. And so that's the first thing. The second thing is that because we have a lot of quality player, and when you have a lot of quality player, even the players that on paper, they, are, they don't have that quality, every day are challenged to do more. Every day are challenged to be better. Every day are challenged. And the, the training session are high, the highest quality ever. And so that's the reason why we are having uh, such great response from everyone that uh, when, whenever, when uh, we put someone in, he's always ready to go. Looking at the season as a whole, uh, definitely the business end of the season, not that many games left. The Western Conference, uh, 
as it is right now, you're only three points behind second place. Yeah. It is that close. Have you ever seen uh, a season, I guess, in any of your, your years of, uh, of uh, football, of a, you know, a season's coming to the end and being that close where things can yeah, move? I, and I think it's, it's I want to say, much more common in MLS than in any other league to have this kind of, uh, you know, really, really tight race that you can arrive second or seventh in, in, one, in one game. Uh, so we need to understand that, first of all, every game is very important. And second of all, that, uh, you know, even if we don't do well in a game, there's another game that we can do immediately win and, go, and get back and, and get back on track. So the, the good thing is that I think we are five points ahead of the eighth place. That it means that is the direct qualification of the, of the playoff and with one game in hand. So that means having basically two games ahead of the eighth place because we need to look forward, but without forgetting what we have back. And then now we are going to probably the toughest week of this next uh, uh, period, because we have to travel to Houston and to LA next week to play two away games. Not forgetting that we have an a critically important game uh, the following Wednesday here for the to win a trophy. So yeah, we we I'm really happy that everyone is responding well. We have 22 outfield player now plus the four goalkeepers. I think we will use a lot of those players in the next three games in order to try to always put a, a lineup that is high quality but also high intensity in order to try to to get more points possible and uh, and lift the trophy in the final against Toronto. Four clean sheets in all competitions coming after the you, you, That's got to be something in terms of collecting clean sheets at this stage of the season to be a real positive aspect. Yeah. Going through, you know, speak to how important it is to be able to do that as well from a defensive standpoint. Yeah, but as I said before, it's not just a defensive standpoint. The fact that we do the clean sheet because you can you can play the the best the best defensive game ever, but if you never have the ball and you're always in your final third. And sooner or later, they're going to score against you. So uh, I think it's a testament of the fact that we're playing very well, that we're always in the final third when we have the ball, that we always finish the ball, finish the action in a way that allow us to defend and be aggressive when we defend. I think today we concede maybe five shots in uh, in the entire game. I don't know. At some point at mid ninety, I watched. I think it was twenty to four the shots, and uh, so that's. Uh, I would say indicative of the fact that that we're doing really well and uh, everyone is doing their contribution, not only on the ball but also off the ball. Today, the work that uh, the three midfielders they did off the ball, the wing back against against us, they're always playing this ball behind us, and we need to drop and and defend the second post. Uh, you know, it's really good. Uh, we need to understand now how to do it Wednesday because in Houston it's going to be with the heat and everything a little different. So we will see, but uh, we we would. It's 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 really important to collect clean sheets from now on.